Hey, what's up y'all? Joe here with the Texas Rancher. Um, wanted to show y'all something that I got and I uh, hope this video turns out okay. I've got the DJI Action or Osmo Action 3 uh, on, a, on my head and I'm trying it this way. I've got a head harness. I'm trying it this way so that I can have my hands free and so uh, I can show y'all what I've got here. So I ordered this off Amazon uh, yesterday and it, it came in really quickly. Uh, got it just wedged in here with some wood right now I don't really know how I'm going to uh, secure it in the bed yet but um, I was looking for a toolbox of some kind and I just was doing some searches on Google and kind of stumbled upon this thing this is made by MTM it's a it's they claim that it's, this is made in the USA and it's a tactical rifle crate I was actually looking for a toolbox, but it's kind of cool that it holds a rifle because I do uh, often carry a rifle with me around the ranch uh, during the daytime. And uh, since I've gotten the new mule, I haven't had a way to carry my rifle. And so this is going to uh, really come in handy. So let's go ahead and open this up. It's got four latches on the front. In the pictures, uh, this looked to be a lot more heavy duty. Um, not that it's... Uh, not well made but I thought it would be heavier and a little bit more substantial the bed of this mule is just under four feet in uh, width and so I needed something that was under four feet and this is the closest that I could come to that uh, I don't know why Kawasaki does not make a toolbox specifically for uh, this uh, vehicle you know that like latches in somehow and won't bounce around and rattle but uh Let's see if I can get this out of here. The the lid will stay up if you had if I had the box further away from the cab, but I have a piece of wood back there uh, with a sp uh, space behind it. Anyway, let's get this out. <clears throat> so this, just in case y'all are curious, uh, this is a Savage uh, six five Creedmoor. This is my daytime uh, rifle use it for coyotes or hogs or whatever um, it's got a vortex uh, 4x12 I believe it's a 4x12 uh, rifle scope on there I just did a little custom paint job but anyway just in case y'all were curious so let's get to the <coughs> nuts and bolts of this thing so uh, it's got these dividers in here this one's screwed down I guess for uh, uh, in the integrity of the box but this one will come out and that one will come out I suppose you probably could remove this one too but uh, I've got all the tools that I carry with me on the ranch uh, for fixing fences and stuff in here I've even got my my new frog togs uh, in here got a pair of leather gloves a pair of winter gloves got a, a hammer a pair of fencing pliers the tool for the uh, chainsaw uh, these uh, things for tightening up fence and then these are those uh, barrel uh, splice it's that I use all the time got a charge this is a battery charger or jumper box binoculars another pair of gloves tape measure uh, we'll get the tape measure out and measure this thing so y'all can see just how the, what the dimensions are got some fence uh, t you know uh, t, t post clips in there some wire and stuff like that so it's gonna carry all of my tools and it's gonna carry a rifle this is actually designed for an AR-15 style rifle uh, it'll fit up to a 39 inch rifle uh, this rifle is longer than that and I've got it in here at an angle let's see what the uh, interior of this box is and it's uh, 39 and 3 quarters and uh, this rifle here is uh, 38 and a quarter total, or 39 and a quarter total. So uh, it'll fit in there at an angle. I haven't tried to put an AR-15 in there, but I'm, I'm sure it'll fit in there no problem. Uh, <clears throat> so how I'm going to ride with it right now is I've, I've just got some wooden blocks there, and I've got a wooden block in the back to give it some space so that I, I can open the lid. Um, I think I'm going to get one of those uh, rods that's uh, adjustable. You can put pressure on it and just put it from here to there 
and uh, hold it in place like that. Because I, I don't know if I'm going across the pasture, this thing bounces around a lot. I don't know if that, that wood's going to hold, but I didn't want to drill any holes into the bed or nothing like that. I didn't want to make any modifications on the mule. Uh, <clears throat> well, let's look here. The box itself is uh, 39 and 3 quarters. Um, if we measure the, the top of the lid, there's, there's handles there too. It's going to be gonna be hard to be accurate. But uh, it looks like it's going to be like... 43 and a quarter, 40, 43 and three eighths with the handles. Uh, they said that the uh, box is 39 inches long, but I think they're talking about the interior. And then uh, width-wise, it's going to be from the hinges back there to the front, 14 and a half. And then uh, the height, overall height, is going to be like just under 12 maybe uh, 11 and 11 and three quarters tall so uh this box is 139 dollars plus tax and shipping I, th I think it was like 143 bucks or something like that um i, th I like it so far I, th I think it's gonna do exactly what i need you know it's gonna carry all of my tools for fixing fences and things um and then it's going to carry a rifle. Uh, I like to always have a firearm with me on the ranch, uh, especially with uh, the feral pig problem. Uh, you never know what you're going to uh, come up on if you're out in the woods. So let's do a quick walk around around the mule um, in case y'all are interested in that. So we got uh, I've got the Kawasaki uh, seat covers. They're really thick, durable. Uh, canvas maybe they're made out of that rip stop i'm not sure but they fit like a glove they fit really well it's maggie's uh leash uh one thing i did is i, I put this uh fortress windshield on here it's very durable it's got dot glass in it i love this thing the only thing i don't like is that it's got this here and there's latches there's a there's a latch here and there's one on the other side and that one broke like on the second day and uh they've got a new one up there for me at the kawasaki place i can go pick up i just haven't gotten around to it um but that lifts up and then you got your trunk lid here which is the only storage on this vehicle <clears throat> and that lift up and I used to I use this a lot in the first couple of weeks that I had this before I got the windshield and now that I've got the windshield and it's kind of a little bit of an inconvenience to open it um, I don't use it as much I, I may now that I have that toolbox go ahead and put a few things in here that I don't really need all the time just to have them with me um, but I do love this storage box in the front and it's weather you know um, stripping in here it doesn't get wet it stays dry so to put this back in you've kind of got to bend on it a little bit and uh, I just don't like the way that they designed uh, that windshield that much <clears throat> so I don't even latch it anymore because it's so hard to get those latches uh, shut so I just mash it down and it doesn't rattle or anything like that um, I put a, also when I got the windshield done, I got a, a rear view mirror. I recently got, got this little uh, dome light and it works really well at night. And then I've got a speaker up here. I'm going to replace that with a proper uh, full size sound bar at some point. Uh, I like the mule a lot. It's got these glove boxes on each side. They're, uh, they don't get wet, they're dry. And uh, I put the, I had the two inch lift kit put on it. And uh, at some point I'm gonna get bigger tires and wheels uh, because why not, they, they'd look cool. Uh, anyway, oh and then of course I had the roof. So all together the roof and the windshield, the uh, 
rear view mirror and the seat covers and the lift kit that's what i've done to it so far it's been a good vehicle it's got 33 hours on it and i absolutely love it uh at first you know i wasn't really too happy about the color but it's kind of grown on me so i kind of like it now and the camo seat covers go good with it all right y'all well i wanted to show you all the new uh storage box i got the tactical rifle crate as it's called and uh see what y'all think about that if anybody else out there has got a 2023 kawasaki mule trans 4x4 the 4010 um maybe this would be a good uh, storage solution for you all right y'all i'm joe with the texas rancher and uh we'll see y'all soon take care and be good